Today on Golf Getaway, 10-time global tournament winner Andre Stoltz and I are surrounded by aqua blue seas and tropical mountains at the luxurious Denarau Golf and Racket Club. I check out the unique Sheraton Resort and I think we may have had a few too many Fijian rums. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Andrew Mira McCoom. And I'm Andre Stoltz, professional golfer, and welcome to Golf Getaway at Denarau Golf and Racket Club. Denarau was designed by Aichi Motobashi and is a 6,513 metre par 72 championship golf course located here on Denarau Island in the beautiful Fiji. Denarau is set against a backdrop of five star resorts, lush greenery, palm trees, ocean views, and mountain landscapes, making it an ideal addition to your next Fijian golf getaway. Okay, Mira, well, I can't wait to get uh, show you around this golf course. I've got some great memories of this place and uh, really looking forward to today. I'm excited. We're at the first, it's a 403 metre par four, pretty long. And with me is professional golfer Andre Stoltz. Andre, welcome to Golf Getaway. Hey, Andrew, how you doing? Thanks for having me, mate. No probs. Now, you've won a tournament here at Denarau. Yeah, it was a number of years ago though, mate, but uh, it's great to be back out here and uh, it was fond memories for me. Obviously one of my first uh, four round tournament wins, so uh, beautiful part of the world and I'm really looking forward to it, mate. How are we going to play this hole? It looks pretty benign, but uh, I'm sure there's a few challenges out there. Yeah, well definitely off the tee there's just that left fairway bunker you want to avoid, mate, so anywhere down the right hand side will do to get us going. Tough day for me. You're going to give me how many shots? <laughs> I'm coming back from surgery, mate, so I'm a bit rusty, but how about 18? One a hole. One a hole. And tell <laughs> me about the surgery. You've been out for a few months or a year almost? Uh, yeah, probably had the surgery about five months ago now, so I've just started playing the last few weeks and uh, trying to get myself in some form for the Australian summer coming up. So I've got a chance. Yeah, let's go, mate. Good luck. All right. Straight down the guts. Oh. oh, nice little cut, just on the left side. Oh, that's straight at it, nice shot. There you are. Yep, green and red, too easy. Has he caught that nice, mate? You've been to Fiji a fair bit, uh, Stoltzy. Yeah mate, a uh, long time ago, but we came out here for about a month. Uh, it used to be a tour called the South Pacific Tour uh, during the Australian winter, so it was, uh, it was a pretty tough gig, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, good luck with the 10-footer. Oh, he's a good putter. He's a good, look at that. Oh, oh, hey? oh too easy. You birdie. You're one up already. <laughs> My God. That's not a bad shot though. Yeah. Lovely shot. Might even be inside mine. I'm hoping it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, roll there a little bit. Not bad, mate. Is that a gimme? Yeah. <laughs> Don't be generous early, mate. Don't be too generous. <laughs> Two up after two. It's a hot start, isn't it? Mate? <laughs> You're going to have to lift. You won by 18 in that tournament, didn't you? This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. Stoltzy, Sonny from Natendol, he's having issues reading breaking putts. What would you recommend? Well, I think this is a real simple drill here. I've just got two code hangers that I've cut and a brick line string. Basically, set it up on a putt that's got quite a bit of break. Um, and the trick is there, here is just to move yourself up and down the line, uh, standing over the putt, and don't worry about the hole too much, and just try and hit it straight down the string line. And at a good speed, that only just went in, so I probably need to just move a little bit further away, which will allow the ball to go right in the middle of the hole. So the key is here is, is to hit those putts, and you see how much break that is. So you're not aiming at the hole there? 
No, I'm just trying to hit it straight down the string line, Andrew, and, and I forget about the hole. So the key is, is to get the putter lined up with that string, hit the putt straight down that string line, and when it goes in the middle of the hole at a good speed, then you can come back over this side and have a look and see how far wide of the hole we're aiming. I believe you know, nine out of 10 golfers don't aim high enough when they've got a breaking putt, and so then they manipulate the putter up the hill or push it up the hill either way. This is a great way to train yourself to, uh, to aim in the right place, and that way it makes your stroke nice. You just hit it straight down the line. For more great golf tips, including the free Three Steps to Chipping Mastery video series, visit golfuniversity.tv. The fourth hole at Denarau is a 389 metre dog leg right par four. It's lined with water down the left, got houses, luxury houses on both sides, famous here at Denarau. Stolte, you've played and you've won almost every tour around the world bar one. You must have met some great players over the time. Yeah, certainly have. I've been pretty fortunate and uh, probably one of my fondest memories was getting uh, to meet Phil, Phil Mickelson at the uh, 2004 Canadian Open. So it was pretty cool. And tell me about that one. Yeah, well, I guess it started on the Saturday. Uh, we were both warming up uh, for the for the tee-off time on the practice putting green and uh, we weren't playing together that day, particular day, but um, he was using a new prototype ball and uh, just happened to roll up next to the same hole I was putting to and uh, I don't know what came over me, but I just decided to pick him up and stick him in my pocket and started pretending I was stealing him walking off the green and uh, he's yelling out, hey, well, you know, what are you doing? And I said, oh, you know, there's this new ball I, you know, I've been hearing about and everything. So he was really excited about it and he actually walked over his bag trying to go and get a sleeve of balls out for me to uh, to use that day and I'm thinking he's only given me three. I'm like, mate, I haven't been playing that well. I might need a few more than that. But uh, yeah, it was pretty awesome. You know, never met the guy and he's trying to actually give me some golf balls to try and uh, yeah, pretty awesome, so. All right, well, good luck. All right, mate. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, well, you're about 190 out. I want to see you drop it within one foot. Oh, jeez. I'm not Phil. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> He's straight at it. I'll end up all right. I've heard mixed reports about Phil. Is he a good guy or a... Not so good. Oh, mate, he was awesome for me. Uh, you know, I was lucky enough to play with him about three times in the end. And, uh, you know, that day in Canada, I hadn't been playing all that well. And he was uh, trying to pump me up full of confidence and, and tell me it only takes one good week to, to turn your year around and, and all that stuff. And uh, you couldn't believe it. Four weeks later, I actually won in Vegas. Um, so life-changing week for me, obviously, winning on the PGA Tour. It was a you know, childhood dream. Uh, and, you know, in the end, I saw Phil about probably three or four months later. I hadn't seen him since my win, and uh, he, he came up to me in Phoenix and, and was, was reminding me about things that had happened that day in Canada, and, and he was great, and he just uh, he knew everything about that that had happened that week. Uh, so he'd actually sort of been following my career since that day, and uh, as I said, I just I couldn't say enough good things about him. He was awesome. All right, well, you got a one-footer for the par. All right, mate. Easy, easy. Oh. Beautiful. Well, we're playing at dinner hour, but we're staying at the Sheraton Western Resorts Fiji. What a unique setup. Yeah, what a great setting uh, for people staying here in Fiji and staying at the Sheraton and the Western. Um, we offer everything from the golfer to the family um, to enjoy their time in the pool here at the resort, but also then dad can also have a game of golf. Uh, Mum can come here to the spa that we're sitting here right now um, and enjoying our time in Fiji. So you can, it's not just one resort, is it? You can stay at one and play at three. Yeah, we've got three resorts. We've got the Sheraton Fiji, Sheraton Denarau Villas and the Western Resort and Spa. Um, that offers three resorts for people to choose from. They can dine at any resort here um, and um, stay at one. And the kids can play in all three resorts. We have about seven swimming pools, seven restaurants. And it's all in one spot, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's all right next to each other, which is an advantage too, because they can walk freely, um, choose their spots each day, depending on where they're choosing to swim or eat or even play golf. And the golf course is actually across the road from us as well. So as a complex, we have we literally have four um, places for them to enjoy themselves. The 15th hole is the signature hole here at Denarau. It's a great hole, it's 402 metres, so it's quite long, often into the prevailing wind, and it's a real Fiji hole. It's got palm trees all the way down the right and the left, two big trees in the middle there, and we head right out to the ocean. A real turning point hole, Stoltzy. Yeah, definitely. Uh, in my tournament win here, coming through this stretch of the golf course, it was getting pretty tight with a few holes to go, and uh, 
as you say, it plays into the predominant wind, so it plays pretty long. And I, I hit a great drive down there, and the pin was up in the back right corner in a tough spot, and I hit a seven iron into about a foot foot away from the hole. So uh, it was just great making that easy birdie there when I was feeling a bit nervous, and uh, gave me a little bit of breathing room the last few holes. So it was great. All right. Well, speaking of good drives. All right. Better focus on this one. Let's see how I go. A little up the right, but that'll be all right. Oh, monstered. I'll take that one. Great club head speed too through that. Stoltzy, how about this for a golfing destination? It's pretty cool, isn't it, Andrew? Uh, you know, back when we uh, came back here and played that tournament many years ago, my wife and kids uh, were here. We still talk about it as probably one of the best destinations we've ever been to in all the places I've been all over the world. So, uh, you know, the kids had a ball over there on the beach messing around and uh, with all the activities over there. I was out here working, of course, <laughs> if you can call it that. But, uh, you know, playing the tournament here, we have very fond memories of this place and uh, we, we love coming back here. All right, one foot from the pen for me, please. Uh -huh. Oh, sounded good. Oh, it's all over it. Coming in nice. Nice. Oh, you're in trouble here, buddy. Might be three foot, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Almost identical to the day that you won the tournament. How about you knock it in for birdie? I'm glad the other one was a bit closer than this in the tournament. This for two up. Oh, he's got it too. Hey, okay. yeah. awesome. it's a putting machine. Yeah, going good today with that. Well done. Cheers, mate. I've got my work cut out, haven't I? Certainly do. We've only got a couple of holes left. And then I did this amazing drive and it was like, oh, I would have been 350 plus. And then this chip shot is like within two foot of the hole. Yeah, unbelievable. Hey, listen, I want to check this place out. I've been hearing all about it all week and I've been hanging out. It wasn't here the last time I was here, so let's go and have a look. Rum, let's get amongst it. Voila. Well, hello. Welcome to Fiji Rum. I had you guys in town, so I'm here to show you run. Just follow me. This is the distillery where we make rum. Oh, okay. So how do you make, actually make the rum? Actually, it has been made like from sugar cane, as you know, by products such as molasses into vats, and then it has been kept there for a short period of time. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And after this, it has been like processed. Then we use uh, use the bourbon whiskey barrels for the rums to be stored in the barrels for like eight years, two years time. Oh, what's this? This is the barrel which we normally use the rums to be stored in. Okay. So it has been kept there for eight years. The more it has been kept in a barrel, the more superior taste it gives to the rum. Oh, that's amazing. I, now I heard you got a lot of different flavours. What's the deal? If you want, you can try them. We have nine different flavours of oh, rum. Wow. Come on, let's go. Come on. Sure. So Rihanna, this is uh, all the different flavours. Can you show me what they are? He obviously knows what they are. He's tried them all by the looks. <laughs> First one is white chocolate, which is eight years of old and one of my favourite. And yeah. then we have coffee, coffee rum, banana rum and the coconut. Oh, wow. And the signature one out of all, which is my favourite, rum liqueur. It is eight years old and it has all those flavours in it. Oh wow, I can't wait to try some of that one. Sure. Oh, I smell the coconut. Oh, that's beautiful. Dark chocolate in there? Yeah. Bit of coffee? What else is that I can taste in there? Orange. Ah, is that what it is? That's beautiful. Mm. That's the signature one. Well, Mira, that was amazing. I don't normally drink much rum, but I tell you what, I loved it. Hey, 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 yeah, well, that's enough. You've had enough. Look at all this. Time to go, babe. We really enjoyed ourselves, but I think it's time. Come on. Okay. Pick up. Tricky shot, mate. You have to go under that tree, oh. and over the bunker. Oh, not this time, Stoltzy, but you can have it. Thank you, sir. 
Oh, you're still two up though. Yeah, it's getting tired, isn't it? We've arrived at the 18th. It's a 472 metre par five. We've got hazards down the middle and up at the green. Big water hazard down the right and a hotel on the left. Stolte, I believe I won the last hole. Yeah, it's gotten pretty tight this match of ours, hasn't it? So uh, I've only got one up my sleeve coming down the last hole, so it's game on, brother. What's the best finishing hole you've ever played? Uh, probably uh, besides this one, the uh, 18th hole at Pebble Beach. So it's uh, just a magnificent hole along the ocean there. So. All right, well, let's see how we go Perfect. on this one. So I'm one down with one to play. All right. Well, that's going to play. All right. Just going to hit an iron down here. Mirror's on my tail. I only got one shot to play with. Great ball striking there, Stoltzy. The safe play. Other than this, Stoltzy, what's your most memorable finishing hole? Probably uh, Royal Canberra. About uh, year 2000, I was playing the Tour Championship there and uh, needed a perfect drive down the middle, which I did. And then I hit probably one of the best three woods of my life from. Uh, the middle of the fairway, right into the heart of the green. So it was uh, just when I, what I needed, a couple of good shots at the same, at the time. 150 out, mate, go for it. Trying to draw on some positive memories here of that, that hole, so try and shut you out. Never. And I pulled it a bit. Heart of the green, though, heart of the green. All right, Andrew, bit of a nervy second there. You squirted it out here in the palm trees. You're gonna have to hit this one over the water and stop it up next to that flag. Well, that looks pretty good. Might have to go a little bit. Oh, oh, that's sure. Safe. Wow. Two putts for par. Uh-oh. All right, mate, it was a good putt there. You going to give me that? No chance. You got that for par, and I'm still got a putt yet, so. Oh. OK, well done. So that's a par okay. with your shot. This is for the win. All right. Oh, oh, yes! Oh, you got me! Finally. Geez, hey? you made me work for it. Thanks for that, mate. Really enjoyed it. Thanks for showing me around dinner at a golf and racket club. Let's go and have a drink. Sounds good, mate. Well Beautiful. played. Geez, you pushed me all the way to the end, didn't you? Hey? Even with <laughs> 18 shots. <laughs> yeah, you're off 15 next time, I reckon. Stoltzy, dinner at a golf and racket club. What'd you think? What a great uh, few days we've spent out here. It's been awesome, hasn't it, mate? Hasn't it? It's uh, such a forgiving golf course, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. A little bit friendly off the tee, but uh, you, you know, with the wind around, you've got to hit some great iron shots in there to get close. And uh, just uh, had a, had some great memories here from years ago, and uh, really good to get back here. How about your putting today? Unbelievable, wasn't it? So uh, good, good for the uh, good for the show to make some putts. And I don't do it in tournaments actually lately, so it's uh, nice to do it any time. Well, you gave me no chance, but 15 too, a memorable hole for you. What a what a visually spectacular hole that is. Yeah, you sort of got a bit of a hint that you're getting close to the ocean at, at some point there as, as you play around this golf course. And, and heading out to the 15th, that, you know, walking up onto that green, it's just awesome looking o over the beach there. And not many places in the world you can see that. Well, you did well. You beat the mirror. Cheers, mate. Here's to dinner hour, golf and racket club. Cheers. Cheers. Well, what an amazing few weeks I've had in Fiji. Possibly the world's best golf getaway destination. And certainly one that you should be putting on your bucket list. I've had an incredible time. I've played in amazing golf courses, met some beautiful people, and done some world-class tourist activities. I'm Andrew Miramakum, and thanks for joining my golf getaway in beautiful Fiji. For more videos, special offers, and information, go to golfgetaway.com.au or like us at facebook.com forward slash golfgetawaytv. Bye for now.